Here's a video on how to diagnose the charging system on a Polaris Sportsman 1000 2014. Uh, I'm not sure what the compatible year range is for that. Uh, first thing, you check your battery. So you've determined that you're not getting a charge because your battery keeps dying. So then you uh, check for voltage at the battery. And uh, here's the black one. There it is. So you got 12 volts at the battery. Um, and then you start the quad up and it still reads 12 or goes down to 10 because the thing char powers up and uh, it's running and you don't see any increase. It should be like 13 or 14 or something like that, uh, which indicates something wrong with the charging system. So it could be the stator, which is the alternator basically, uh, or it could be the uh, voltage regulator <coughs> down here. Um, but before you just go and fix one, you got to figure out what it is. So, uh, so after you've ascertained you're not getting any charge, you then go to the left side of the quad and you pop these panels off, or just one panel, and you use these little clips right here. They were uh, up here somewhere on the panel. You can just wiggle them out with a screwdriver and get the slot in there. There's probably a tool that pulls these out nicely, but you can get them out without mangling too much. I pop them out a little bit with the screwdriver, and then uh, you can grab them with some, like, uh, linesman ply or something flat and just pop them out and they come out and uh, so there's that two there and then there's a torx head here on the panel and that reveals this area here which they only go down in here and tucked up in there is this harness which connects to the uh, stator inside the uh, body there so uh, your next step is to determine if the wiring is good. Uh, so then you go to your uh, ohm meter and you check for resistance on these pins here. So you go from one to two, uh, one to three, and then two to three, and uh, it should be no more than six ohms. Uh, zero is just good, and so I've, so there's one, to two, one, one to two, one to three, and then you go from two to three, make sure that there's not too much resistance or it reads zero. Okay, so you've done that and you've determined that the, uh, the, the coils aren't, the wiring's not buggered. Okay, so now you're gonna go, and this produces AC current, so you switch to your AC meter, which is the little wavy line. And then you start the quad up and see if the stator is producing voltage already. So, uh, I'll switch G. And put that down for a second. Okay, so that's that. And then uh, you're going to throttle it a bit and you should see an increase. Okay, so yeah, you see the increase, uh, 23, or like between 20 and 30 idle, and then it ramps up to like 40 and beyond. Uh, you do that again with the 1 to 2, 1 to 3, and then 2 to 3 uh, on that to see that it's producing AC current. Okay, so now your stator is good. Um, and uh, then you go back up to here. Those three yellow wires will come back to this regulator block here. Uh, which then outputs DC to the battery and regulates the charging. Uh, while it's running, you test these next. And if it's running and it's not producing a voltage, you've already been there, so you already know, but you could always try it again just to be thorough. And so I've already ascertained that this regulator is buggered. So then you just get in there with a 10 mil. Uh, socket and then you get behind it with the 10 mil deep socket and you back it up because those bolts are really long and it should be able to get it off nicely. Uh, you kind of got to wangle in through underneath the front grill and uh, so that's that and uh, then so you want to pull this harness out so you tie a string to the harness nice long something something sturdy it's like uh, some yellow nylon or something and then that'll uh, give you your trace back when you install your new one. So you just grab this. 
And you fish it out. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm holding the phone. But you can fish this out. Make sure it doesn't get caught. You might have to take off another panel. But uh, once that's out, uh, you just connected the two wires off the battery. And uh, there you go. There's your part. And commencier uno reverse. And uh, that's a done deal. Thanks for watching.